Hey yo, we about to have fun in the kitchen cooking chicken with the real one. I need Nisha, she's gonna teach ya. Matter of fact, I wanna she can make a pizza. I don't know what she on, but ain't no Papa John. The way she cooking, man, you think her name was Mama John? My baby ain't your mama because she's sweet as sir. They call her Sugar Plum, and she can make your mama burn. Hey guys, welcome back to Sugar Plum's Kitchen. I'm Sugar Plum and today we have a great meal in, for, in store for you. As you all know, it's football season. The guys are watching the games and ladies, we got to feed our men. So today that's the type of food that we're focusing on today. We're going to have some Sugar Plum sweet, sticky um, hot wings and we're also going to have Sugar Plum's buffalo wings. We're also going to have some macaroni and cheese with bits of ham in it and we're also going to do a home style sub sandwich okay so today we're going to save some money we're going to have some fun in the kitchen and let's feed our husbands okay so we already have our water boiling we already have our um, oil already preheated and we also have our oven preheated because we also I forgot to mention that we're also going to do sugar plums kebabs all right so this way the gentleman can eat and sit in front of the tv at the same time okay so we already have our water boiling, as I stated before, so we're going to go ahead and put in our macaroni, okay? Okay, get that in. And let's get that just to going. Stir it around a little bit. And remember to go ahead and add salt into your water, along with a little oil, that way that your noodles won't stick to the bottom of the pan. So remember in the midst of cooking all of your other meals, remember to come over and stir your noodles often. That way it can kind of help the oil prevent it from um, sticking, okay? All right. So now let's go ahead and start with our kebabs, okay? We have our beef, we have our mushrooms, and we have our onions, and we have our bell peppers, and we have our actual kebab sticks. Now I've already started preparing at least one so we're going to go ahead and that way you can see how it's done. Now I've already um, pitted um, our bell pepper and I already sliced up our onions and popped some of the stems out of our mushrooms and that way we can go ahead and keep it rolling. So in, you know in order to do that you want to go ahead and do that so it'll kind of make the process a little more easier and faster okay. So whichever um, pattern you want to go in, it doesn't have to be a pattern at all. The main important thing is to stack those flavors onto the kebab stick so that way once it starts to cook in the oven, you'll taste all of that flavor. But I like to use the different colors and that way it'll make it a little bit more eye-pleasing, a little more eye-catching, a little tempting. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get these kebabs on the sticks. And we'll be back in just a moment. Okay, guys, we have our, um, our shish kebabs already on the actual kebab sticks. And we actually marinated the, um, the beef into some Warsiskashire sauce and along with some steak seasoning. And we're, we're going to do, since we already have them on here, we're going to go ahead and pour the remaining sauce that was left in the bowl over the meat and let's go over to our oven that's already preheated at 350 degrees and load them in okay don't that look great that looks beautiful and it's going to be very very good too all right let's go ahead and slide it in 
Let's just go ahead and set it on there for about 30 minutes and then we'll turn it. Now let's go over to our pasta that we had boiling and it's cooked down fairly well. And wow, no stick, how about that? So let's go ahead and leave that down low until we finish with our actual hot wings that we're gonna get ready to prepare. So what we're gonna do with the hot wings, we're gonna go ahead and add some pep, some salt and some pepper and a little seasoning salt. Okay, well, let's move it around. Spray that seasoning onto these drumettes evenly, okay? All right, a little bit more salt, a little bit more pepper, and a little bit more seasoned salt. And let's move it around. And the key to these hot wings is that we're not going to actually um, put any flour on them. We're going to dip them right into the hot oil. And for those of you who don't want to fry their hot wings, you can have the option, you know, you have the option of putting it in the oven. But for me and our, you know, my family, we like them kind of crispy. So we don't want it to be too, you know, soft and a little gummyish a little. So we like them crispy. So that's what we're going to do. So now that we already have the wings evenly seasoned, we're going to go ahead and move them to the pan. Make sure the grease is nice and hot. I'm gonna go ahead and dip them in. And I usually let um, my chicken wings drumlet cook for about five to 10 minutes each on each side. And then I'll go and flip them over. Go and flip them over and then let the uncooked side cook for about five to ten minutes and then flip them over again okay so let's go ahead and let those simmer kick up the heat just a little bit because I had my grease on low so I won't start a grease fire so now that we have our meat in the pan we can actually kick up the heat a little all right so we're going to sit these remaining wings onto the side and that way we can go ahead and get our colander for our macaroni and get that drained. So stay tuned, okay? Okay, we have our pasta drain and we already have it in the bowl. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and add our butter for our macaroni. Now, like I stated earlier, this macaroni is a little extra special because it's actually going to have ham inside. Oh, and it's going to be so good. So it's like the pleasure of having ham and cheese, but with macaroni in it too, y'all. I'm showing out. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and add in our mozzarella cheese and our cheddar cheese. I'm going to sprinkle it on in. All right. Let's go ahead and add in some salt. Let's go ahead and add in our pepper. Okay. And let's go ahead and add in some of our ham. Okay. Lots of ham. Looks really good. Okay. And actually you can find some ham. You can have the pre-cooked ham. You can have um, the ham that you still have to cook. Whichever one is better for you. Okay. We're going to add in some milk. Just a little milk. And let's go ahead and stir. And once you stir, you'll know what you need to add, okay? All right. Since we have that stirred up pretty good, let's go ahead and add in our egg. Let's go ahead and just wash my hands. And now we can continue back to stirring. Okay? 
And as you can see, we can add some more cheese to that. Okay, let's go ahead and get that in there. Some more cheese, because we love cheesy macaroni. Okay. And a little inside joke to my niece, Ivory. I hear you, honey. I know she's probably smiling away. I love you. Shout out to all my family who's been supporting us and watching us, giving us ideas and advice on things to fix and things, you know, to improve us. So we appreciate you guys so much. Alrighty, guys. All right. Gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and put these in these little personalized bowls that hubby can actually sit. Oh, I'm making a mess and watch the game and eat macaroni and cheese all at the same time. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get these bowls filled and we're gonna head them on over to the oven. So stay tuned. Okay, guys, we've already put in our macaroni and cheese. I'm gonna pull them out and let you get a glimpse of it. And for those of you who likes cheese like me, what I did was I added an extra topping of cheese on top with a little paprika sprinkled onto it, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and push these back into the oven. And let's take a look at our kebabs, ooh. And those onions and bell peppers smell extra good, guys. Just gonna flip them. And be careful because the vegetables are kinda tender at this point and we don't want them to pop off, okay? So basically, as long as the meat turns, no problem. Okay? All right, so let's go ahead, push those back in, and let that cook. Let's see, we have about five more minutes. Let's go ahead and put another 30 minutes. But the kebabs won't actually stay in there for the remainder of the 30 minutes because we don't want our beef to get a little tough, okay? So we still want the tenderness and the juiciness to the beef. Okay, but I've already taken out my first batch of hot wings, okay? And they're not actually hot wings yet because the sauce is what's gonna actually make, you know, give it its flavor. And you can find any type of wing sauce you know, from a store. You can possibly make yours. Um, today we're using, as I said earlier, Sugar Plum Sticky Sweet Barbecue Sauce, okay? And um, some hot wing sauce, okay? Go ahead and flip these. Make sure that the chicken is cooked evenly. Okay, now let's move on to cooking, well, uh, preparing our sandwich that we have, okay? Today we have wheat French bread. Mmm, smells so good. So what we're gonna do, as you all know, there are several restaurants out that prepare sandwiches, but don't you know, you can also prepare it at home for the times that you can't make it to those restaurants, okay? You can prepare it right at home and it'll taste just as good, okay? Let's go ahead and spread that open. Mmm. All right. So first off, what I would like to do is go ahead and layer it down with my mayonnaise, okay? Ooh. It's spreading everywhere. Okay. I'm gonna wipe my hand off here. And let's go ahead and go forward with layering our leaf lettuce, okay? You can use any type of lettuce, romaine lettuce, iceberg lettuce, as long as it's lettuce, it'll be very good. Okay, let's go ahead Today's cheese that I'm using is white American cheese, okay? You can use cheddar cheese, whatever cheese that you prefer, okay? It will work just fine. But this is also a healthy meal, minus some of the meal. 
But since we have a huge bread today, I want to make sure that our sandwich isn't, you know, dry. Okay? So we're layering our cheese on. All right. Layering our cheese on. Let's go ahead and put our tomatoes on this side. And this is something that you can share with the whole family. And this is what I'm going to actually do. Since Marlon and I have three little ones, they, I know they're going to want some of this up too, okay? So we're going to sprinkle onions on both sides because everyone loves onions. Not too much onions, but just a little. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and start to add our meat. Today's meat that we're using is ham and turkey, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put these on there and you guys stay tuned and we'll be right back after we add the turkey on. Okay, so stay tuned. Okay guys, we've just taken out our chicken wings, okay? They're nice and hot, they're golden, they have a nice little crisp to it. And since we just took these out, we're going to go ahead and set them aside for them to cool a little bit, okay? All right, so now we're going to focus on over back to our sub sandwich and we're going to go ahead and add some mustard, okay? Go ahead and add the mustard on, just a tad. All right, now me and the children likes bell peppers, so I'll just put a little of the remaining bell peppers that we had on for the um, kebabs earlier onto this side, okay? All right, so now, only thing left to do is add on some more condiments. So, everyone loves banana peppers. So we're gonna go ahead and sprinkle some on, on both sides, nothing new. And mama likes jalapeno peppers. So I'm going to put just a few on my side. Okay. So let's go ahead and drizzle a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. A little bit of oregano. And a little bit of oil. And there you have it, folks. Your restaurant sub sandwich right at home. Okay? So hubby is sure to not be hungry during the game. Okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut this bad boy in half. I'm going to go ahead and sit him aside. Ooh, look at that. That looks good. And like I said, this is a big enough um, sandwich bread that you can slice into many slices to share with his friends that he comes over or just to share with you and the kids as well. Okay? So there you have it for Sugar Plum Sub Sandwich. All right. So now let's go over to the wings now. Now, Papa, Big Daddy, he likes his wings hot. So I'm going to put in kind of half and half. So some of them will be sugar plum sweet, sticky barbecue sauce, and the other will be hot. Okay, so we're going to just going to go ahead and put them in. And we're going to go ahead and layer them out pretty well because we're going to shake these around a bit. All right, so this will be Big Daddy's one. So here's our wing sauce, our hot buffalo wing sauce. And we're going to go ahead and pour the sauce over these wings. Now for those of you who wants the, the wings to be a little baked on with the sauce, feel free to put them in a container and um, put them in the oven and let them cook a little bit, okay? So the main thing is for these to shake around in it a little bit and get that even coating, okay? All right, and we're going to go ahead and get our 
remaining wings into a container so that way we can put sugar plum sweet sticky barbecue sauce on it so stay tuned smells good okay guys we've already taken out our shish kebabs i've already had them on the table ready and prepared and let's go ahead and check on our macaroni Ooh, y'all see that that thing look good i'm telling you Ooh, i'm so excited marlon is definitely not gonna go hungry doing this game okay so we're gonna put this over here let me go run and close the oven and please guys be careful when you're frying grease when you're working with the oven all this good stuff because we don't want you to get burned okay all right folks so here you have it we have our sugar plum subway homemade subway sandwich there you go and we have sugar plums sticky sweet barbecue wings and we have sugar plums spicy hot buffalo wings and we also have sugar plum shish kebabs that I've also drizzled with sugar plums sticky sweet barbecue sauce okay and then the finale we have sugar plums macaroni ham and cheese this is gonna be so lovely and just to make it pretty we're gonna drizzle just a little paprika on top just a little bit okay and if you want you can really see the paprika if you dig it up a little bit and that way you can see the ham in it and then drizzle the paprika on it but i'm gonna let it cool down right now since it's hot okay so thank you guys so much for joining sugar plums kitchen i hope that you guys will uh, utilize these recipes and these dishes that i'm fixing for you and your family that you all can have lots of food to enjoy as well so thank you again tune in every monday at meentertainment.com for a new episode of sugar plums kitchen if you would like to be featured on Sugar Plums Kitchen. If you feel that you have an incredible dish that you want to share, give us an email, give us a call. We would love to have you on the show, okay? So until then, folks, good eats and keep sweet.